I'm a bit out of the context here because I, I jumped out of the out of the out of that uh, PowerPoint presentation, and uh, what I discovered is that when I came today to meet all uh, our, my uh, colleagues to, that we are speaking here uh, about this uh, about this Baltic deal uh, as a case study issue, and the first thing what I was asked. It was not about what I'm going to speak or what we, we, we discussed it before, but it was not reaction to, to my, uh, my, my certain thoughts that, uh, that I was uh, supposed to, 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 to share here with us, but about the reaction to Prezi. Okay, so you're going to share Prezi, and that's when I figured, yes, that's where I am at Communications Workshop, because everyone's exactly interest in, interested in the particular tool that and methodolo methodology that I'm that's what and then I realized one another thing where where did we go now uh, in terms of also communications uh, discourse in the within the strategy of the uh, uh, USBSR within uh, within the strategy itself because is if I remember for instance two years ago this wouldn't have been the case where actually communications people that work with projects uh, of the USPSR related projects would come together and really professionally uh, from different organizations discuss this kind of things, which makes me super happy about it. And I think we did a, a kind of a progress. It's kind of a, a good practice, I think, in, in its own. So this could be also a case study. Now, um, I use this not because of I would be very well aware of how to use this kind of tool. It's just because uh, for myself, I, I, I just uh, use it whenever I think that um, I want to brainstorm rather, uh, not necessarily ha give uh, already developed answers full, filled with answers and write, write, uh, write. Uh, Things to say, as it were, like truths, uh, sort of uh, a kind of a you know uh, a statement, but rather sort of like a share a kind of uh, thoughts. Where could we go, and why? Because and this is exactly what I find also this format of this workshop, uh, which is great. That I'm not speaking here with these people. I'm I find myself uh, pondering and and wondering and and talking. And um, Baltic deal is. I mean, is a, is a great, I, I think it's a great project. I didn't know a lot about it in terms of agriculture. I don't know anything. When a person back, when I was sitting here, when a person asked me, so this, is this, is this, um, is this sustainable? No, was it a green agriculture or was it a uh, ecological agriculture or bi agriculture? I don't know, but the very story, the way uh, when I watch these films, uh, the, when I when I when I hear people people talking about this change that they want to happen and the, the what the experience and these people coming together to do certain things to solve certain problems that didn't happen before, that's what what that's that's what I understand, and that's why I really also like that that my colleagues uh, from the project they are articulated this as a as a way, uh, what is the story about? So basically, also myself, I find in a very similar situation as you do now, because I'm about, I just finished working on a project where we worked also quite a bit of on uh, communications with a communications officer and communications teams and so on, when, which was not about a sexy topic at all for the public, it was in civil protection, Perhaps, yeah, uh, it is not an easy <laughs> topic to share about because it's not naturally that people relate it to. But, but that this, this challenge, I think, it's it's interesting because it really sort of equips you with an ability to to be looking for understandable various languages. And that's exactly when you when we talk about these uh, EU EU projects, um, that's when we want to reach out to several various uh, to several various target groups also thank you very much i think that like this audience is also great because they just also like these questions that they came up they, they like they inspire it's like yes exactly what kind of goals do we have what kind of audiences do we reach so um, what i what i perhaps just wanted to to say is that 
Thank you, Ufa, for mentioning also the task force on communications because I remember why we started thinking when we when we started thinking about what kind of workshop this at uh, the annual forum uh, could be. It was about okay, so we do communicate. We sort of like know we now already know tools of what to what to use and how to to reach out our immediate target groups during the project. We know how to develop certain languages. But do we actually, what do we do then after? And why, for instance, is it important to do then after? What, what, what can we do when, um, when there is after, even though the project is not there anymore in terms of the budgeting, for instance, for a communications officer or for communications tools, how to integrate the stories that you developed into, for instance, the overall flow of your organizational communications? These are the questions that I have no idea how to answer very strictly. I don't know, so perhaps this is also what we can, what we can uh, all of us think about and, 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 and think of like suggesting certain strategies. But uh, what, I was, uh, what I was thinking um, about is, that why do we need, also why do we need to tell the story? Because at the end of the day, it's sometimes it's very practical. When we have daughters talking, and when we have, when we have also, uh, this is a, you know, whether you will be able to bring further these kind of stories to, for instance, a policy level or people who make decisions in terms of what kind of funding, uh, funding priorities they would set later, these, this is also the, the, the goal of, of, of communications after the project. So how far are we in actually being able to think about these things in terms of how do we bring our story forward for this to be informing the future, future projects or future activities or future decision make policy decision maker funding so their uh, funding funding decisions so then uh, so then um, uh, so then um, we would uh, receive certain yeah we, we would have a go ahead for other projects for instance right so uh, this is the post post project communication is how do you like one of the things what you do how many of us, when we, for instance, budget for projects and budget for communications activities, do budget in, for instance? What it, why is he budgeting? Because, I mean, in my language, it's a communication pro pro project officer. Uh, in my language, it, is, it means that the budget means hours. It means that in my, you know, ideally eight hours work day never happens um, in terms of that it's longer all the time. but. Uh, how many hours am I allowed in my organization to, to, to spend on, for instance, this topic? You know, so how many hours do I put for myself to plan what, how the project communication will continue after, you know? Whether do we have to, what kind of materials do we, for instance, produce at the end, end of the project so they would go work for us later on? And then, um, so what, this, this, these are the strategies that I'm sort of working on now. So basically, uh, the project normally can achieve a great result in terms of studies, uh, in terms of concrete little, I don't know, uh, corporations kind of things, but also it is, to me, it is also, a, the capital is the network and the connection and the, the the knowing people, right? So they could sort of work, work, uh, work uh, further. Then uh, the the one thing that I think also a lot about is that the projects. How do we see projects? How do politicians see projects? It's a one-time thing, which is pe like a short period, and it gives concrete results. That's why politicians love it, right? Because you put money only into the little, like only in like, let's say three years, a very concrete amount of money and it gives results and it's done and it's great and the world is much better. And then they also can tell that story to their, you know, to, the, to their uh, electorate, right? Voters, exactly. But 
there is also a problem when we start thinking, okay, so let's do many projects and that's gonna replace our normal activities, but it's not the case. Because if you see the project, like your normal activities and your normal priorities, some of them have to be visionary in terms that they cannot really, you know, uh, be all the time, you know, stopping. It has to have sort of a big kind of goal to the future, right? Um, well, that's how I think. And then, and, then, and then some of the projects can be sort of like actions where you, for instance, I can test a bit more daring than, for instance, my normal organization would allow me to do, but I can test certain uh, strategies, methodologies, partnerships or something. So, so, so then, okay, so then what you, what, what you have? Um, Baltic Deal has everything, just check it. I mean, I, I was really, I mean, I'm really, 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 for instance, impressed. They have a, a, a project website. Uh, the, well, I, I, saw, I saw like with, with all the visual identity, with all of these kind of uh, like also uh, social media and all of the uh, US, USB information that I, we received uh, at some other event. I, I think I, I got the Baltic Deal uh, USB stick in Tallinn when we were there at some workshop, uh, a portfolio, access to networks, uh, and then we can have it, the, then the questions come. Uh, my questions to you, you have a story, but do you, how far are you, in, how far are you integrating into the overall communications of your agency, of your, of your, of your, of your, what, what you're doing? And then that's the most important thing, like, do you see it in the same way as the politicians, let's say, do, or, or people who would, who you could target, for instance? And, and what, and then again, how do you see the results that you achieved with your project? Because to me, is when you do a project and you're testing something, for instance, you have your target groups, and then you have the results, and those results were sort of as if it were a research or feasibility study, and then after, at the end of the project, the target groups may come out for the future, may come out totally different than you thought of it at the beginning of the project. For instance, when there was a question, I think it's a very relevant question about the regulations and about the po uh, policy changes or leg legislation even changes. The need for that you can come up during the project, right? So do you capture it and do you then use it, this kind of knowledge for what, whatever you, whatever you, um, whatever you will, will, will think of how to work further. And then, and then um, do, you, do, you, are you, do you feel that you can redefine the target groups of your organizations, uh, of, your, of your project? And then, and then uh, do you think that, for instance, perhaps in your own case, now you would need to bring awareness to the, uh, the different levels which you were already working on but has a change or 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 uh, but or, or or is it is it still the same or perhaps you feel that there is a need to go to more private organizations but then uh what how you make it happen i imagine that 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 you all are uh, as far as i understood from also what you told before you are already doing this but one thing uh perhaps we can go further uh, one more, further. Uh, oh yeah, there's the question. So then there's a question which I didn't put in, but I had in mind and I wanted to tell. There's the most important question is that, do you see it as a, as a, as a capital? Because what I've experienced that, as I said, decision makers and pol po po policy makers uh, also, uh, yeah, these all, for that, you know, are they gonna give us more access? Are they gonna give the more like we put us in a place where we can have a dialogue, what we also need, or so on? So I think these, 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 these all were the thoughts that uh, I was thinking about. Also uh, thinking about what the Baltic deal did and where are you gonna go next? Somewhere very, very high up, I go. Oh.